You're probably wondering when the hell did I decide to go to New York. Five days ago, me and my boyfriend decided to move to New York for one month. And you guys are probably wondering when I got to New York, what I'm doing in New York. Literally last week, I was posting videos from my home in Vancouver, but we did some spontaneous shit. And now I'm literally here on my little fire escape. So New York of me. Anyways, it basically comes down to the fact that we were trying to decide whether to move to LA or New York for a couple months. We couldn't decide. We remembered fashion week is in literally five days. So we're like, why the hell aren't we going? And basically we booked our flight tickets We scoured the internet for places to stay Because it was literally nearly impossible But we ended up finding a place It's right in there I can show you guys later And basically we've been here for like 5 days now And I'm so happy we did it It's literally amazing It's literally a dream It's literally like a movie set Also by the way I totally forgot to introduce myself If you haven't been here before My name's Kimya I make fashion and travel content on YouTube So if you're into that stuff Definitely hit the subscribe button Because I'd love to have you here Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Also, not gonna lie, fire escapes are kind of scary. Like the fact that I feel like I can fall through these cracks right now is actually, like if I drop my camera, um, it's done. She's done. Okay, let's go back and start from the very beginning. Five days before we book our tickets, one day before we book our place, and we are off to the airport ready to go. All we know is that we're invited to a couple fashion week things, and that is basically it. No paparazzi. Going to New York for the first time ever, and literally, this is so weird because we just planned this like five days ago, and now we're here. And has it hit you? Yeah, I think it's hit me, but like, I feel like I can't even imagine what New York's really gonna be like. New York, here I come. <laughs> Okay guys, we're finally here. Long journey. It was really hard to get our money out of the bank for some reason to give the rent to the guy. But we're finally here and it's just as we expected, but probably even better. I feel like it's really big. So let me just show you guys. Okay, so this is our little kitchen area. We have this nice little window. Also, of course, we came to New York on the first day it's rained for three months. 50 pound luggages. I really hope for a sunny day because that's what I'm here for. And we have the cutest little bathroom. It's small. But how cute is that? Got a little dining table, little mirror. We got one bedroom. We have our living room. Couldn't ask for more. It's a super nice place. Let's check out the lighting. Look at that lighting. Anyways, um, we're so tired. Like we hardly slept. So. Guys, it's our first day officially. Yesterday we just kind of kept it easy and stayed in because we were super tired. But today we're gonna walk to Soho. And honestly, I don't know what else we have planned besides going to Trader Joe's, which is like every Canadian's favorite thing to do because we don't have it in Canada. Yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. So good, guys. This is actually fire. It's probably like, the best bubble tea I've ever had. And this is just like a random place that I found, so. I don't even know. Boba guys, I guess. Check it out. Webster party tonight, but we'll see how that goes. We'll keep you guys updated. I don't know, the people here are cool. I feel like every store we go into, we kind of like almost make a friend, not a friend, but like an acquaintance. Yeah, the people here are cool for sure. Bijan's hungry. I'm kind of getting hungry too now. We had breakfast. Did I even eat? Oh, I got a salad. Shortly after this, me and Bijan decided that we must go to the Diesel Webster party. But first we needed to set ourselves up for success and go grocery shopping. But you never grocery shop on an empty stomach. So we went to Regina's Grocery. We found it on TikTok. It was 
pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit plain. And I'm gonna be real with you guys always with the food recommendations. And then we headed off to Trader Joe's, our favorite place ever. People might judge our haul because we were just so lazy to cook. So we literally just got random shit like snacks and microwavable food. Once we had our 2 a.m. snacks settled, we headed over the Brooklyn Bridge and headed to the diesel party at around 10 o'clock. Right away, I just need to interrupt because this party was actually such a cool experience because you're literally brushing shoulders and having conversations with every single person you've seen online. And it's just crazy that everyone's in one room and gets to mingle and network together. So this was a really, really cool experience. Last night, basically we had our little start to fashion week. The universe was pretty much just aligned and we got to go to the Diesel X Webster party. So we went to the Webster, we went shopping. I was looking at the Diesel collection. It's like an exclusive collection with the Webster. So the sales associate is like, we gave away our last two wristbands, but just show up. I think you guys are good to get in. And the universe literally aligned for us when we ended up seeing the store manager of the Webster there that we met earlier in that day. And she's like, oh my God, hey guys come stand with me and let's go in together. So we got really lucky that we actually went into the Webster that day. Like it was just so random. Like we could have just not walked into that store and not looked at the diesel stuff. We wouldn't have even known about this party. And look at that. We got in and it was honestly so cool guys. It's so different being from a small town that doesn't have like a huge, huge population like New York. I feel like when you go down the street in New York or you go to places in New York, there's just so many people to meet and like so many different characters and just like a lot of people that you see online are just like living here it's just so cool being in like a place with people who are kind of doing the same thing as you i'm not gonna lie we had a totally ideal first day in new york so let's hope the next days are just as good and tonight we got invited to the jaded london party so i'm really excited about that that's gonna be super fun so i'm gonna capture it all but first we gotta go do some tourist things because we have never been to New York before. This is our first time. We need to do the classic New York things like Central Park, Times Square. So we're gonna go do that today. And honestly, I'm so excited for that too. I'm eating these Trader Joe waffles we bought and they're fired. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. Not gonna lie, it's kind of cold. So we're going in to get a jacket. My ass is about to get so muscular because of these stairs. Filmed here, and you're kind of like walking through a movie almost. We did a carriage ride, it was cute. Uh, yeah, it was very expensive, <laughs> but we thought we gotta have the experience once. What is that? Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. Okay, we're at Times Square right now, but Bijan literally just bought a $10 hot dog, and the hot dog looked so whack, like it was like cut in half and all weird color. Not it. But now I think we need to go get bagels at Liberty Bagels, the place Anna Paul always goes every time she comes to New York. This is just like a little too hectic over here, not gonna lie. Like I think it's really nice to see once, but after that it's like, eh, not for me. Yo guys, haven't talked to you guys in a minute, but right now we just got ready. Our apartment's a freaking mess because I'm just 
really messy for some reason especially when i'm getting ready so yeah we don't have time to clean till after fashion week let me tell you that anyways we're going to the jaded london party not me trying to find the good lighting i'm wearing my new diesel shirt and yeah i think i'm gonna go walk around and take some content before for tiktok but this is the little fit. We got this belt on. I cut this mini skirt that I thrifted myself. And then we got our boots on that I always wear. I end up wearing these every single time. Ignore the sock. Got these earrings on. Wearing this brown purse that I've been wearing nonstop. It's literally my favorite. We also took the subway for the first time today. And honestly, it's so freaking easy. Like, I would not drive if I was in New York. Public transit is definitely the way to go here. So, like, I'm happy about that. We got a little, like, subway pass to use. But anyways, I'll show you guys the party when I'm there and I'll see you guys later. Marquee when it's shut down, eh? Trust me, daddy. Yeah. Hey, man's never been in. When it's shut down, that's not me and it's shut down. 